Hi everyone, I'm True Soul, and this is a review of the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary Captain America. Now, right off the bat, everyone, this is not to be confused with the Marvel Legends 80th Anniversary Captain America, because very uh, important distinction. This Captain America was made for the 80th anniversary of Marvel in general, if I remember correctly. This one that I have right here was made for the uh, anniversary of the Marvel Legends action figure line. So I'm really looking forward to opening this Captain America up. I've heard a lot of good things from other uh, toy collectors that already have this Captain America. So what I want to do in this video is do a rundown of all you know the things that this new Captain America has to offer and then do a little comparison at the end of the video comparing him to the 80th anniversary Captain America so without further ado let's go ahead and open this guy up oh and actually guys before I ripped into this figure uh, completely I just did want to say that this packaging is um, you know meant to kind of resemble that old toy biz Marvel Legends action figures that they made back in the day um, those kind of action figures, you know, they used to come with like little backdrops and um, a little stand for the figure. And I, if I remember correctly, I think some of them used to even come with comic books, which I thought was like really cool. But now that I'm done being nostalgic about that, now I'm going to open up this figure. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary Captain America out of the packaging. Right off the back. Um, I really do like the uh, more classical colors that they have on this Captain America compared to the 80th anniversary one. From just looking at it, it does look like they did use a little bit of reuse. Um, I'm pretty sure like the torso and pretty much most of the body altogether is kind of that um, 80th anniversary Captain America body, which I don't have a problem with because I really like that body. And now just, you know, giving it a more classical, you know, repaint. It looks pretty good. Now the head is uh, a lot different. Uh, I kind of like this new head sculpt for Captain America. I feel like it looks a little bit more detailed than the 80th anniversary one. And I'm also really liking these little uh, straps that he has on the side. In fact, it looks like this is a, actually a separate piece also, so if you want, you can go ahead and take that off if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and leave that on Cat America for now. But in terms of overall look, I'm really liking this Cat America so far. And uh, going right into articulation, with this being um, the 80th anniversary body, as far as I know, it's kind of the same articulation as well which is pretty good. Of course, Cat America being a character that doesn't have any weird hair, has great articulation in the head. Also has the double jointed arms. We go down here into the torso. Ooh, it was a little, <laughs> a little hard to move that at first, but has the ab crunch, of course, in the torso. Also has a swivel at the bottom. And um, this belt, actually, I you can move it out of the way a little bit. A swivel in the upper thigh, along with double jointed legs. Also has uh, individual swivel at the top of the boot, and of course, good old ankle pivot. Now, for those of you who probably already have the other Cat America, and you don't mind the different color scheme, you're probably wondering, well, why should I get this Cat America? Well, I'm glad you asked because we're about to move into my favorite part of the reviews, which is the accessories. Starting off with this very nostalgic Marvel Legends stand. Um, a lot of the Marvel Legends action figures back in the day came with these stands. In fact, if I remember correctly, they were kind of like a standard. So you got the little pegs right here, and you can stick Cat America on it. In fact, let me go ahead and try to do that right now. And there you go. Kind of a little bit of extra support for the figure. Make sure it stays upright. Cat America also comes with his shield, and there's some very interesting things going on with Cat America's shield. As you can see in the back, he actually comes with uh, like three peg holes in the shield. 
and that's so you can stick this uh, energy effect into it so it looks maybe like he's blocking some sort of energy attack which I think is pretty cool. He also comes with a couple of other uh, effects that you can stick into the shield. He also comes with uh, what look like some ricocheting bullets that you can stick in there like so. And he comes with uh, about three of these. They fit in there pretty nicely. So I really like that. And he also comes with what looks like maybe some type of like slicing effect that you can also stick onto the shield. A really cool idea and I think it works pretty well. All the uh, effects fit pretty nicely into the shield. But of course guys it is Cat America's shield so let's go ahead and stick this on Cat America. There you go. Now I like this shield. It's a lot bigger than the um, shield that the Cat America from the 80th anniversary uh, comes with. The only thing is, if you don't have any effects in there, then you just have three kind of awkward holes in this Cat America shield. Now lucky for me, I have a couple of other Cat America action figures, so maybe every now and then they can exchange uh, shields. But it's a really cool idea what they decided to do with the shield, and I like that a lot. But Captain America also comes with a couple of extra hands and he has a hand that uh, I think should come with every Captain America action figure. I call it his saluting hand because he only comes with one. There was this Falcon action figure that comes with hands that look like this and I had used those hands for like my Captain America whenever I wanted to do salute. But now I don't have to because I have this saluting hand. So really glad that they decided that get that cap. Captain America also comes with a pointing hand. I want you to subscribe to True Soul. Very good hand. So it's like you can like order, you know, if you have like some shoot agents or like the Avengers. Very good hand to have. Not very many extra figures. Marvel Legends come with a pointing hand, which is actually a very convenient accessory. But let's get into probably one of my favorite accessories that comes with this in particular Cat America and that is the unmasked Steve Rogers head. I really do like this uh, Steve Rogers head. Um, I've been kind of wanting a comic book Steve Rogers head for my Cat America. Um, for those of you who watched my videos I recently got the SH Figure Arts Cat America. Of course he comes with um, Steve Rogers. Uh, well not Steve Rogers, Chris Evans because it's an MCU action figure. But now, we have a Steve Rogers head for the comic. Then go ahead and pop this on. Oh guys, he also comes with this little, this little flappy piece of plastic which is meant to uh, represent him having his uh, cowl down. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that on him as well. I'm going to see how that looks. Now just from looking at it, it kind of seems like it's it's a little out of control there, but once I get the head on, it shouldn't really give me a whole lot of problems. Alright guys, and here's the Captain America uh, Steve Rogers head on the figure. Now, um, uh, as I was afraid of, this uh, flappy plastic part is just kind of really loose and just everywhere. So. When I am displaying this Cat America, I might just leave this little plastic piece out. But other than that, I really like the head sculpt for this Cat America. This is probably going to end up being my definitive Cat America on the shelf. But before I forget everyone, let me show you guys the actually the very last accessory, which is this uh, cool backdrop here. This looks like a one of the older like uh, Captain America comic book covers but if you turn around you can also use it as a it's like a backdrop here like a background for like maybe when you're taking pictures and stuff like that so I think that's pretty cool and when I heard about this I was actually expecting it to be a little bit bigger because in order for me to use this to take pictures 
I have to get it really close to the to the camera like that. You see that? You see that glare? I mean, I can work around that a little bit, but it's a cool idea and a cool concept. So I'm probably gonna try to take some pictures with that. Oh, and I feel kind of dumb, guys, because I totally forgot that he has a peg hole in the back here, which you can stick the shield onto, and it fits pretty snug. So that's always a nice welcome thing for Captain America to be able to put the shield on his back. And it looks even better when he has these straps on his shoulders. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I decided to do a little comparison with my old, uh, well it's not super old, but 80th anniversary Captain America. As you can see, uh, the new 20th anniversary Captain America has a lot more brighter colors which I do like a lot and I think that'll fit really well with my um, Iron Man that I have and now I am still wondering or still thinking about displaying both of these Cat Americas or having one primary uh, Cat in America to display on my shelf because for those of you who watch my stop motions I mostly use this Cat America for uh, my stop motion so this might end up being my stop motion cat america that i don't display but we'll see you'll probably see in my next uh, collection display update video but all in all if i had to say which cat america i like the most i'm probably gonna have to go with this uh new 20th anniversary uh toy biz inspired cat america i really like the colors on them i like the uh face sculpt and everything it just looks like they took this Cat America, which was already good in my opinion, and then kind of, you know, made them even better. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me. Comment down below if you guys have this new Cat America. What do you think about them? Do you like them? Do you not like them? And which Cat America do you like better? The 80th anniversary Cat America or the Marvel Legends 20th anniversary Cat America? All right, guys. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram to stay updated on future projects, as well as see exclusive photos like of Captain America here that you will not see in my videos. Alright guys, until then, be sure to like, subscribe, and go to my channel to check out other videos. Catch you later.